Shalom, Shalom. This is the brother Daniel Allah coming back again with another lesson. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rachah the born to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect brothers and sisters that believe in this word and that fear in the Heavenly Father and His Son. Right? And um, this is Romans chapter 14, verse 5. One man esteemeth one day above another. Another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Right? So, hey, when it comes to this truth, you have to be persuaded that this is the truth, man. You have to be, you have to be persuaded in your own mind that uh, particular teachers that, you know, are set up or of the men of, of the men of the Lord. Right. And with that comes what? Examination. Right. Observation. You observe uh, those who uh, make the claim to uh, be in the men of the Lord and see, do they really do they really fit the scriptures? Do they fit the description? Are they doing the things that a man of the Lord would do? Right. You know, and it all comes by trying the spirit. Trying the spirit by the spirit. What's what's the uh, the spirit? Okay, the words, man. You try a man's spirit by the by the scriptures, man. Right? You know, and it's it's, it's real important to uh, actually look these different things up yourself, man. You know, like our elders and apostles always tell us, hey, don't believe it because we say it. Go look it up yourself, man. You have to be like the men of Berea. Let's get that real quick. This is Acts chapter 17, verse 10. It says, And brethren immediately sent, and the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming whither went into the synagogue of Jews. These were men more noble than those of Thessalonica, in that they received the word with readiness of mind, and searched the scriptures daily. Whether those things were so. So whatever was being preached to them, every day they would go and search the scriptures to see, is it true? Is it true? Right? Is it, you know, is is, is, is this scripture, is, is this scripture really in here? And then they go look at, look for it, man. You know? That's why it's important to study to show yourself approved, man. You know, and, you know, for those um, Israelites that may hear about Great Millstone from other camps and not have checked them out or, or checked us out, okay, to to uh, uh, to see to, or to observe, right? Hey, don't take don't take um, a man's word for uh, 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 you know <laughs> for for a Great Millstone, man, because you know you got Sakari, you know. Who, who's saying certain things about Great Millstone, which, you know, certain, uh, uh, you know, lies concerning Great Millstone brethren, you know, throwing, throwing shots or whatever, throwing shade, so to speak, right? You know, don't just take, take his word for it, man. You know, if you so happen to come across this video, check out GMS videos for yourself. Right. And you should be asking yourself, are these men men of the Lord? Do they do what the scriptures say? Do they preach of war and evil and pestilence? Because that's what the scriptures say uh, uh, in uh, Jeremiah chapter. What is it? Twenty eight and eight. Do they preach of war and evil and pestilence? Are they preaching according to the Bible? Are they uh, uh, pushing that vibration out? Right. Do they do or practice what they preach? Let's, let's, let's get that because you can't just speak about the word. You have to be about the word. You have to do the things um, that the scriptures say. Uh, let me get this real quick. This is the book of James, the first chapter, and 23. Um, 
It says, Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. So this word is able to save your soul. But be ye doers of the word. So you have to apply this word to your life. You got to ask, you got to ask, well, all these men applying those, uh, the words of the scriptures. Right? It says, um, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. So if you just listen to the word, you don't practice it, then you, you really is is you're 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 you fall into that realm of being a hypocrite by saying and not actually doing, man. Pretending, right? But not actually applying these uh principles and the 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 this knowledge of the scriptures to your life. So you gotta ask you gotta ask yourself these different questions, man. You gotta observe and you gotta, you know, look like is they going are they going according to the scriptures? And if they are, you know, and you know, hey, ultimately if you're sincere, you know, and you you study and you go look these things up for yourself and you check things out for yourself, you know, hey, and you and you're sincere, you pray unto the most high for the for the truth. The Lord, if you sincere, the Lord will give it to you, man. He'll cause you to see the truth. He'll cause you to see who are the true men of the Lord. Okay, that got the 100% truth. Okay, so you got to be fully persuaded in your mind, man. Right? Um, let's get this. Uh, Isaiah 8 and 20, it says, To the law and to the testimony... If it's if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them, right? So, hey, a man of the Lord will speak according to the word, the whole word, not just bits and pieces, the whole word. And yes, that includes what the New Testament, every last book in the New Testament, including including the ones that have been written by the Apostle Paul, right? Who was taught of the Lord, man. He was called an apostle. So he had the spirit too. And the Lord put the spirit on him. To write a lot of particular things, man. You know. To keep order within the different churches. That was being set up. Uh, back back at that time, man. You know. So, hey, man. You got to be fully persuaded in your mind. You know. Don't just, uh, you know, take. Take uh, what what uh, brothers say or certain people say for granted. Go look it up yourself, man, and pray for the, that you receive the with the proper truth, man, the, the proper wisdom. So you know, just wanted to do a quick video on that. With that, I'm gonna say shalom.